Hey guys, I'm Nina, you're the Intro Bang Hipster Darlings, and today we're going to talk about Blackfish for Sourcefed Nerd Movie Club. And I had thoughts on this movie. So, uh, first of all, this is a documentary. Documentaries aren't your thing, you're not going to want to see this. Second of all, it's about orcas, so if marine biology is not your thing, you should watch this. Uh, and it reads very much like a propaganda film. So, uh, if you're not into that, don't watch this. Now, I have some conflicting thoughts about this, because SeaWorld, I live, like, ten minutes away from. Like, literally, not even ten minutes. It's like right up the street, so I have some very, um, opinionated thoughts on this. And SeaWorld is not the devil to me. Sorry, not gonna make me think that it is. Um, and this movie really got me thinking about credibility, um, because I, I have a hard time making a case for this movie because it didn't actually use credible witnesses. Um, and I'm gonna say credible because what I mean is that they didn't have people with fancy doctor degrees. You need people with fancy doctor degrees if you're gonna talk about veterinary sciences. I'm sorry. Fancy people with fancy doctor degrees. Um, and this didn't have that. And this felt very exploitive of a tragedy, and, uh, I wasn't super into that. And it just... I had some problems with the way SeaWorld handles things. Like, the fact that the one whale, Tilikum, is the only male breeder. Like, no! Breeding science, no! And that this fucking whale should never have been in SeaWorld in the first place. The scientists who signed off of this should have been ashamed of themselves. But there are very clear moments when there is human air, not big corporation air, human air. Humans with names and faces and responsibilities who didn't take care of their responsibilities. Um, basically this film made me very angry because there was no real credible witnesses. Uh, they, you know, took people who were amidst a tragedy and made a movie about them. And it's just, no. And one of the other little sticking points I have with this movie is that I went and looked up who financed this movie, and it was NBC. NBC is a direct competitor of the Black... Blackstone Group? I think that's what the company is called. Anyway, they're the parent company of SeaWorld, and NBC and Blackstone do not play well together. So gee, imagine that. Defaming a competitor. Now, I'm not gonna say that this didn't work for SeaWorld, because there are many, many people going to SeaWorld. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit insane. Um, because I think about all the good that SeaWorld has done. Like, I think about how many people wanted to become marine biologists because they saw the whales at SeaWorld. And I think about all of the research that's been done because there are whales at SeaWorld. But there are just some things that, A, ugh, any time you get near an animal, you have the potential to be killed. That is in an animal's nature. That is animal, like, survival instincts 101. So any time you get close to an animal, you are taking a risk with your life. That is a given. This woman took a risk with her life by becoming a trainer, and that is very, very sad, but that it didn't pay off for her. But it is what it is, and I'm just, I'm not having people, this rip movie is really only rivaled in my hatred to Blue Valentine. So that's how I feel about all of this. 
I'm gonna go watch some happy things because I need to like clear my week of this blackfish thing. Um, I live tweeted it. You can see all my live tweets um, on my Felicia Knight account. Yeah, whales have bad days. People have bad days. Everyone has bad days, including whales. We should give the whales a chance. <sighs> this movie got me angry and uh, angry all over the place. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a thing. It wasn't very long. It was done well. The production value was great, but it made me very, very angry in a multitude of ways. So yeah, that's, that's where I am. Um, I'm not gonna watch this again, ever again. Um, I honestly hate whoever picked this because it was just angry everywhere. And I I'll get over it and I'll love you again very shortly, but right now this is just, mm, huh. But anyways, I'm gonna go watch something happy. I'm gonna be happy and fun. And uh, till I see you next, bye guys.